then draw a squash circle underneath. And then we're going to go and draw a long body. I'm going to do a point where I'm going to bring my pencil down to and it's going to curve around to meet that point. Then I'm going to curve it around on the other side. Then we're going to add the wings. So what we need to do is add two dots halfway down our squash circle. So so our wings are going to start below our head, where it joins, and it's going to come out. Slightly curving. And then the bottom of the wing is going to be where that point is, so it gets wider as we bring the line away. And then we're going to curve it round to meet the top. So line out from the top, where the head joins. And stop, one underneath that's a little bit shorter. And then we're going to curve that round and join it up. Wing underneath comes out, so it comes, follows that line and comes out. Follow the line and come out, so it curves out. Remember, you can rub out and go again if you get it wrong. Then we're going to curve the line down, round to join. So come out, a little bit shorter, and then curve it round to join the one above it. When you've done that, we need to add the legs. So two thin lines either side. And then we're going to join two more lines that bend inwards. And on top of that, you're just going to add a kind of squash surf again. Super. We're going to add the detail on the wings, so just a curvy line that comes up from the body. One on the other side. Then we're going to do one that comes down from that line to the edge of the wing and another one. Same on the other side. Then we're going to do some on the wing below, so a curvy line and then another shorter one. Then on the body, we're just gonna add a curved line, it curves up, another one that curves up, this one curves down, and then another one that curves down. There you go. First thing I'm gonna draw is the line at the bottom of the head. We're going to add two eyes on the side that sit on top of that line. Then we're going to join it with a slight hill, so it curves up and back down. And then we're going to draw it set like antennas. Okay, for the main body, we're going to curve down and then a line underneath that's slightly curved. So then his bottom part, we're going to curve around and in. So I've done a little point just to give me a bit of a guide where I want to go. Then we can add the details, some lines that we can colour in later. So these are curving down, just to give a bit more 3D effect. Then we're going to add the wings, so I'm going to leave myself some points where I want the wing to come out of its body. So first thing I'm going to curve down, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to curve this up and out, a bit shorter, same on the other side. Now we're going to come out further on each side, so two little lines, like L's, and then curve up. It's a bit like a C now each side and then we're going to curve up and round to meet that C at the top. And his legs are going to do two little C's each side and then a bit like a sausage coming out and then another 
another one. So I'm slowly getting in now and then we're gonna add his bag of pills. So like a sausage, add another one. And then almost a teardrop shape. Cut around and out in so it gets to that point. We're gonna add another little seat on each side here. Another kind of sausage shape, this one's a bit more like a triangle. Another one, and then that teardrop shape again. So on the other side. So nearly there guys, well done. Trust me, it's gonna look so good when you finish. And then that teardrop shape for his foot. Uh, next one is a bit longer, so it comes out from the body. Long one. Come on, on the other side. We're gonna add a smaller shape here. And then this is more like a straight line that fits out. So. And then that straight line that fits out. Good. So now we can add some colour. Given the wings a bit more shape and added a bit more detail. The first thing we're going to start with is the eyes. Make sure you go nice and big so we fill up our piece of paper. And then we're going to connect them with a point at the top. And then draw the rest of the head. So it's a bit like a rectangle. Then underneath we're going to draw a smaller rectangle. And another one with curved edges. Then we're going to draw his main body. So we're going to curve around and then curve around on the other side to meet the bottom. So he's thinner at the bottom. We're going to add some detail now. So here I'm going to do a zigzag. And then I'm going to do some lines on the one on top. On the head, I'm going to add some more zigzags. Then on the body we're going to do a straight line down the middle I'm going to do a curvy one next to it and then another straight one and another curvy one so just alternate then on one side of the curvy line I'm going to add some spots then we're going to do the same on the other side so curvy line straight line Alternate them and then add your spots. We're going to start adding the legs now. So, first one comes out from the side, curve around. And it's a little bit thicker at the end and we're going to do a curve on top then we're going to add a thinner line that comes to a point and we're going to curve in so it gets thinner as we get closer and then point at the top then we're 
then we're going to draw the feet, so curve around to a point, and then back in. We're going to add another leg on the side, so another line out that curves down, curve it around at the end, then we're going to add a thinner one, smaller rectangle, and then another foot. And another one at the bottom, so a thicker line that comes out, curve it round. This is a smaller segment now. It's a smaller segment and then his foot again, so that point. I'm going to add another one on the other side and then we can add the other two. 